What's going on with the truckers? I had the opportunity uh, to be at a truck driver panel where hundreds of truck stop travel center owners in America really want to know what truck drivers wanted. So I asked a question to these truck drivers on this panel and I asked in a perfect world if there were five truck stops and they were only good at one thing one being a customer service uh, another uh, being uh, great food another one being clean showers uh, another one being uh, ample truck parking and the last one having the best fill prices if each truck stop was only great at one thing which truck stop would you stop at other truckers comment down below but definitely uh, i'm gonna send this out to hundreds of truck stop owners so that possibly we could start making a change that's what this is about definitely uh answer down below because this is extremely important mother truckers thank you um all right to all these beautiful truck drivers out there all right we're gonna play a game if there were five truck stops and each truck stop was only exceptionally good at one thing one, the first truck stop was amazing at fuel prices. They got the best fuel prices, but they suck at everything else. The next, the best clean showers. The third truck stop, the best food you ever have. And the fourth truck stop, amazing truck parking. They always got a truck parking for you. They move the line, they make sure you get in and out. They just do a great job with that. And the last truck stop, they suck at everything. They don't got no money, no parking, no fuel. They just suck. But their customer service is bar none. It's amazing. Which one of those truck stops would you stop at? Number five. The customer service? Say that again. Say it with the microphone. Number five, I'm sorry. Why customer service? Like I said, on a ELD, you're limited for everything. And to, I go home every time. Yep. And I mean, I drive 2,500 miles, well, 2,400 miles a week, but I still go home every night. But for me to get in there and get out quick, that's great for me. That's for me. I mean, that's personal. But because I, you know, I just need to go. I, heard that. I got no time. I mean, I, I, I drive part of DC traffic every day, so you know I'm always backed up. I mean, every day. So it's a backup all the time, always behind. So when I get in there, I want to get in there and get out, and I, that's what I gotta have. So great customer service. Yeah. For me. Yeah. yeah. Can you? I think it's multi-layered and it's uh, situational. <clears throat> so in today's climate, fuel is higher, and that contributes a lot to the bottom line. So fuel is the biggest expense for a carrier. So for me, I'm looking for who has the best fuel prices. That may change a year from now because um, parking is not my biggest stressor because I park at way stations and rest areas because you normally don't have to fight at way stations because truckers are afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I don't, I don't want to fight for parking at a truck stop. So, so, uh, so if you're, so on an owner operator perspective, <laughs> In this day and age, you would say, yes, it's great that they have beautiful parking. Yes, yeah. it's great that they have great food. But you will drive 40 miles out of the way for a truck stop that their fuel prices are a dollar less. If, yeah, if it, if, it makes, you know, if it makes sense. You don't want to necessarily spend money to try to save money. So you have to look at that. But I would be more inclined. So if there's some place along the way that is not as low you just get a few gallons till you get to that premium spot that has the great gas a uh, few prices no, thank you just spend all your money driving 40 miles to save you <laughs> right yeah so you've got yeah. it's got to make sense yeah rusty how about you playoffs i mean in my application of that answer it's cool what i'm looking for i might be looking for two different things in the day i might get fuel at this place and go to stay here at night because they got parking so i'll look and say okay well so and so's got fuel at 450 a gallon right now that's you know pretty good i feel there and i may get a shower somewhere else. 200 miles up road that day you know or whatever and i'll be looking okay shower parking shower and parking usually goes right together 
when you park, you're going to get a shower. You're not going to run in and get showered and fuel if you're at 12 o'clock in the daytime because that's taking away your drive time. You know, you can you can start pairing things together, shower, fuel, and food. All right. Uh, so and, I'll debate you know, this then real quick. Uh, so if you said shower, parking, or food, so one place has amazing shower and parking and crappy food, or great food and crappy shower and parking, which one would you choose? Sometimes you don't got a choice. <laughs> <laughs> in this scenario, in this scenario, in this scenario. Well, if I had great food, great parking, great showers, I'm No, like, you don't get that scenario. That's a unicorn. That's <laughs> yeah, a unicorn. Yeah, that's a man. unicorn. Right? Uh, you know, uh, but I mean, out of all those options, you know, you put, you put the shower, fuel, and food together, all those three together, because now you sometimes we're going to put fuel in the truck and grab it like lunch, around the lunch time. You're going to have somebody come in and shoot fuel in the truck, grab a quick bite, eat it in the truck, rolling down the road. Around the late evening times, you're going to have people looking for showers, fuel, and parking. That's going to be your three that you're going to try to there it is. get the best, you know, the best little outcome of what you're talking about there at night. Be like, hmm. I guess I'm stuck here tonight. You know, I've, I've, I've said that many times. I my wife, I say that. I'm like, well, I'm in crap town, Tennessee, or you know, whatever. Well, see, that's a answer. I'm sorry. With yeah. him stopping twice would not be on my agenda. I, it would kill me to try to stop twice. But I mean, I, I see you. Cause see, I pulled over. I pulled seventy five foot loads for like 16 years, you know, and I know what you're saying, but for me to have to stop twice, I could, it's like when Sylvia and I go on a trip somewhere, I only even stop once, that's it, <laughs> you know, we'll go, we go so far, and you got to stop, and you know, go to the bathroom, or whatever, but I can't even stop at once, I never do. Well, no, that's great, that's great, and then uh, lastly, uh, this, you know, definitely because you own a truck stop, and uh, you're a truck driver as well, um, in that perfect world, uh, which truck stop would you stop at? Uh, okay. Um, in the perfect world, I've been an owner operator, so the first thing I would look for is the cheap fuel. Now it's time, time, time. Uh, and being a team driver and hauling high security, I'm looking for the food. I'm gonna look for the food and the best coffee. When my grandson stops in the morning and turns it over to me, he knows, he knows he has to stop at a place that has good coffee. And Dunkin' Donuts ain't it. 